Hello, everybody. On this episode, we talk about Pax Day, Shin Megami Tensei Five Vengeance, Monster Hunter Stories and World, Still Wakes the Deep, the banana game sensation, and also what the hell is Fisher Price GTA? And we're going to dissect the latest Nintendo Direct. And let me tell you, there were some big announcements. Amazing. Five, four, three, two, live from Hoth. Cloud City and somewhere over a hole with a monster inside of it, Michelle. All right. Welcome to episode 860 of the Video Game Outsiders. John has been giggling to himself and Matt and I are concerned. I'm one of your hosts, Michelle Madison. And I, of course, am your John Jacobson. And I am the one that Michelle mentioned, Matt Bradford. I'm also concerned, John. Yeah, it's going to... Um, I hope it's not one of those nights. We hope we don't have a mummy situation on our hands. I don't we'll ever want a mummy happens. situation. No. Again, I've uh, done a lot of soul searching after that. Yeah. So I, I think I think this is the calm episode. I think this is the calm... I hope so. Uh, no it bits. Is. It no, is. No tangents. We're just going to get straight to business. I can't guarantee I, I won't yell. Okay, see, he's oh. already going. <laughs> Nobody understands why this is happening. There's not even a Star Wars reference on the show tonight. So, yeah, this is even in the Star Wars show. Yeah, there's just nothing really. John just has been going goo goo gaga before we started recording. So anyway, we are live right now on VideoGameOutsiders.com. We do it every Tuesday from 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern. If you miss it, you can listen to anywhere podcasts are. Of course, our app is the best place. We do tons of bonus shows during the week. Some are free. Some are premium. Now, tomorrow is the first day of summer. So, John, we are kicking that off with a Cooking Outsiders. You'll be talking about like what we're cooking, grilling, what we purchased, all that fun stuff. We do that once or twice a year. And there's also other shows that we do every week that aren't a part of like what's on Spotify and the entire back catalog of almost 20 years. So, John, if they want to support us and get the weekly bonus shows, how do they do that? That's right. Go to our website, videogameoutsiders.com. When you go there, there is a red premium button. Go ahead, click it, lick it, slam it, whatever you need to do. Go to the next page and go premium. It's a buck ninety nine a month. Tighten this up a little bit. I, it's tight. Like, it's, 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 it's tight as fuck. Listen, hit there the red are button, young podcasters that are paying month, attention to how I do this it. every week, and they're taking right. notes. Okay. So you're walking tone. people yes. through, like, put your hand on your yeah, mouth, yeah, this, click with the left th- th- finger. I, I like, know. Caress the mouse. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, just, right. it's like button, TMI. Maybe. Let's just yeah. say. Okay. So go to videogameoutsiders.com. Okay. It's our website. When you go there, there's a premium button. Go ahead, click it, lick it, slam it. Whatever you need to do, go to the next page and go premium. <sighs> okay. It's $1.99 a month. Once you're premium, you unlock our entire back catalog of almost mm-hmm. 20 years and all the bonus stuff. That's right. All of the bonus stuff we do every single week, like PC Outsiders. Micro VGO, like Michelle said, we're doing a Cooking Outsiders this week. If you want all that bonus content, go to VideoGameOutsiders.com and go premium. All right. That's right. All right. Well, let's move on because we got some big games tonight, some uh, Nintendo Direct news. So I played a game called PAX Day. It is... Uh, PAX well, Day? Yes. P-A-X space D-E-I. Not that sort of DEI. Oh, Pax Day. diversity, equity, no, inclusion. you can be anyone you wow, want in this Michelle. world. Here's the things that Woke. I think. Well, listen, I'm a Pax. Well, at Pax, okay? I did see a lot of that. Is that yeah, what I'm we're talking sure you about? Did. Pax? You also saw a lot of. You told me a lot of fat <laughs> chicks with their stomachs out as well at, at Pax. That's a whole different story. Let's not get into that. Um, so they refer to us as Paxians, and I really like this little like blurb. Um, Paxians, okay. Yeah. So it says, "Hello, Paxians." Now you asked me what Pax Day is. Here's what it isn't. Let's start with that, because this is right from the developers, and I thought it was funny. Pax Day is not a theme park MMO. Pax Day is not a medieval simulator. A Pax Day is not MMO. a survival game. Pax Day is not a fast-paced game. Pax Day is not a single player game not what is it game. is a social sandbox mmo a living world why did you say theme park what? that's what they said well first of all it's what? an mmo no this monthly is like a fee. six flags game a medieval no, six flags is, dancing an, bald guy it's an unreal <laughs> five it looks badass okay so look i have played mmos for many years i'm not dumb enough to give a review an actual review of a new MMO on the first day. So I'm not going right. to say this game sucks because the servers were having issues. Hello, have you guys, like, that's what happened today. A lot of the Steam reviews were like, you know, downvoted, returned, because right. they turned it One off. One out like, of ten can't connect. Yes. I get leaving, like, a review <laughs> and saying, you know, not yet or something like that, but everybody was like, no, return this after three minutes because I was rubber banding. Well, it's a new MMO. It's the first day of an MMO. Yeah. It was popular. I, honestly, you're right, though, because that... Yeah. that- bullshit is bullshit like where a game comes out and everyone right. just shits on it and moves on right and they're like well, they moved on but everybody it's, now it's doesn't popular get it. right so no, look i can say 
that from, yes, I did experience rubber banding today. I did have some issues where I was putting down stuff and they weren't there yet. And I had to reload. Like it is the first day of a new, very uh, ambitious MMO in Unreal 5 that looks really good. And so what it is, what's exciting to me is all the cool shit you can build because there's a lot of like, it's not a survival craft. It isn't like you're going to die if you don't eat. It's a little bit like Valheim where if you eat, you get a bonus. But I'm sure you've seen some of the videos out there for those who do know the game of these elaborate castles. Asmund has had some that people have built. I mean, it looks like Game of Thrones. You're into the side of a mountain and you can do just crazy shit. And this is very reminiscent of old school MMOs. John, you talked about Ashran's Call or Star Wars yeah. Galaxies, where you pick a plot of land, you build, it's there in the world, sort of like Rust or something, but in a different different sort of environment, obviously, because being not a survival craft sort of game where you're PVPing really, um, or, and you can, I'm sure, but that's not what I experienced today. And there's role playing servers and there's all that. But wait, wait, you, are, you say it's, it's, so I build a house. It's in the world. It's in the world. You it's see a, what it's on that building. server. Okay. Yes. But, you, but so it's the, limited to a certain amount of people, obviously. Right. It's yes. Not I, like, Yes, exactly. This isn't like thousands and thousands of people. But the cool thing is like, so you make your character, okay, you go in and you're choosing not only a region, but you're choosing like a spot of the region. And it's like, it's massive. There's all these points on the map and you can see like the population on it, like which point you want to go to, or if that's by the river, so I'm going to go here. And then you get plopped into this world. And yes, you start picking up stones, you start picking up rocks and reeds and weeds and trees and you know all the good stuff you'd expect and then immediately they're like hey go pick your plot of land and that's when i'm in if i'm hunting for a plot of land i'm already like loving how it. soon I don't do you get a crafting is. table pretty soon because i found my <laughs> plot of land i went down by the river down by the river i you went down by the river trees it was beautiful i made stones. an axe i started cutting trees but that's that's there's more to that than this there's more to just the building like this game is very ambitious like i said there's magic like, so there, you eat mushrooms and apparently like spirits yeah, visit you okay. and there's all this mythical magic shit that goes on, like there's secrets and it has this whole like, it's not just like a serious like go there build, like it's a whole like mythical world of, and stuff like that. But it's not like go get a quest with a exclamation point and then go there and bring t- 10 rocks there. It's not like that. So like they're doing something different, very ambitious with more than just the building. But I think, you know, people saying it needs time, it needs time, like Yes, like from what I played today, it needs time because first of all, they have to get the server stable. But I can't just say like once that happens, like I'm really excited to play more. So today I stopped playing after a few hours. I was like, I'll come back maybe tomorrow. I'll check in tonight to see if the servers are doing okay. But what's happening if you're seeing bad reviews or mixed reviews, people are just turning it on, rubber banding, turning it off, going shit game, I return this. It just doesn't make sense because you have to expect with a new MMO launch... that that yeah. sort of Zero happens. Patience, I want to ask you a right. question, Michelle, about this game. So right. I, I'm looking at a video right now, and what I'm seeing is just like typical Valheim, Pal World, whatever, con- base construction, blah, blah, blah. How much yes. of it is that, and how much of it is like a Skyrim or something, or just an RPG? Or is it all of that? Is it everything? Well, so right now, calling it the social sandbox MMO, I feel like they're building for something more, but they've made a point to say it is a nonlinear game where everything happens in the open world, right? So you don't, there's no like things that are going to be instanced, okay? So you don't go into okay. a dungeon, only you experience like everybody. Right. Like this is really all about getting in a big clan, honestly. Like it's something it's you, building? there's, you yeah, fight? like they say it's not a social game. So it's, you're, sp- you're supposed to. I'm sorry. Game. It's not a solo I'm, game. Pax it's a social style, game. Yeah, it's a new social yes. sandbox MMO. So you're so. supposed to get. Sorry, not a solo game. You're supposed to get together with a bunch of people. Like don't and and then build together, do things together, explore together, uh, yeah. freely visit, just things like that. And I think they're going to add more stuff into what you can actually do. So. Mm. I don't know. Like right that's now, Valheim's thing, right? Like, yes, that's the, exactly. Like, people are saying it feels the people who have played a lot now are like, look, it's Valheim where you can do it with like a hundred people, um, and just. Yeah. But it's so cool being Unreal Five, looking so cool. Like I want to get out there and build. I started building. It's my weird though home because looking at the marketing and the website, mm-hmm. it doesn't read like that at all. It looks like a like Dungeons and Dragons RPG well, game. I mean, they right? make a point like to say it's scroll. not fast paced. Yeah. Building a castle takes time. Elder so does taking. Yeah. Um, so does making gear. So you can go on like a dungeon run. They said the world is. It's like you have to travel. That takes time. Exploring the whole world is supposed to take time. Like it's a massive world that you're just supposed to discover cool shit in. And you're which tethered is very to your, your home base. Is is uh, uh, that's what I'm kind of getting at? Uh, so like you build a homestead and you you go. You can have for- multiple plots of land depending on. Okay. Yeah. So you can have them probably in different areas, and then there'll probably be a system to teleport between them. I, I only have one. Like plot a summer right home, now. A, uh, like yes. a fishing cottage. Uh, yep. 
and you, there's combat. <laughs> the combat for for me was really hard to judge Something because. Else. It was rubber bandy, but people are saying, look, the combat needs to be refined, whatever. Like, these are things that are going to happen. But for me, like, once the servers get stable, I would be perfectly happy just to run around, build and explore. I wish I had like 50 friends that I could go do this with. Okay, but getting a small group together would probably be enough. But this is a game where if you're playing alone, I don't know if you're going to get the most out of it. But you still it just might take you too long to do all the cool shit that you can do. Now, I think that's sort of their intent. They, they're saying it's not a solo game, which is kind of a bold thing to say, because normally it's like but if you try to please everybody, you please nobody sometimes. So it's like I still don't understand. Are there quests, though, like in the distance is like you can build and shit, but over here is a boss that you can eventually fight. Is that what it is? Well, yeah, there's like they're not technically like the sort of quests that you'd expect, but there are bosses to kill and dungeons and like combat, like things in the wild and kill boars and then craft leather things. And, you know, like so there's like. It's it's still survival crafting, though. So you're, like, crafting a lot of stuff, building a lot of stuff. Uh, but there's wild animals everywhere. There's resources that you're gathering. Um, but, I mean, it's more... To me, it's, like, really shines as a clan game. Like, from the stuff I've watched, yeah. like, there's people building on the side of a mountain, like, these massive compounds, and one person's getting rocks and running back and forth and going all the way up to the top of a mountain. And the grand scale of it, I mean, it's gorgeous. You can see in some of the videos that you're, like, looking out... It's like it's a playground. And I mean, that's what I think they're doing right now. I don't think it's to the point of like uh, Star Citizen John where there's like nothing to do. Right, um, right. But I think right now at the point is is like this I mean, is not. Uh, Star not Citizen does st- have like kind of yes. quests and things you can do, but not a lot right, right now. It's empty right. still. This at could be like the player engagement is driving the game. Ship, apparently. <laughs> yeah, like Jerry would say, sandbox demos means you make the experience. The players motivate themselves rather than just playing the game. Yeah, but there are cool things to explore. Like I said, I was just like, you can inspect everything that you're looting. And I saw these mushrooms. And it's like, if basically these are known to bring spirits out. And it's like, okay, so if I, how many of these do I have to eat? So you just start shoving mushrooms in your mouth and you're collecting those. <laughs> I've been there. And you're like, yeah. let me eat a bunch of these. Maybe I'll see a spirit. Okay, well, maybe if a spirit comes out, they'll take me to this cave. Like it's that sort of adventuring and not sort of like go to town, get a quest, you know, World of Warcraft, typical shit. So I don't know. I think PAX Day is really cool. Can I recommend you go buy it right now? I, I'd say look, give the server some time, but I think there's a lot here and you can get in and there's a couple of different like ways. To, there's no monthly fee. So you can just buy it for 40 or there's like so other supporter packs that are like 60 but you don't have to pay a monthly fee on this there's no real pressure if you just want to experience if you have a decent pc and you can handle like a beautiful unreal 5 game by the way it has like fsr it has dlss so you know you're going to be able to experience it at, even though it does push your computer with even with the 4090 i put dlss on so it's it's like really impressive though because the it's just the scale of the world is like super, super grand. So I'll probably play a bit more of this. Hopefully tonight. No, or tomorrow. you need to. This has you written all over it. Oh, I, I love want it. A full like I said, but I want like fifty people. That <laughs> I want a big clan, shopper. but I, w- I wasn't going to just join some random clan. Um, but that I can tell the people having like the most fun in this game are people with like big, big groups. Um, and that's what's really sweet about it. But I love the aesthetic of the world. I love everything about it. It's it's. Pretty cool. So check out PAX Day, like I said. But today, give them a little time. You know, the server, it's a popular game. A lot, it had a lot of streamer attention. So, you know, the servers did take a hit. So check that out. But, you know, I did have a really good gaming <laughs> week. What's so in on? this screenshot here, are, do you become like a YouTuber or something with the green screen? Is that like you're setting up a little studio? What? No. <laughs> John, John, you really no. did take something before That'd be the bit, show. <laughs> that would be funny, though. That you set up a desk yeah. and it's like. All of a sudden, you, like, you teleport out of the medieval. <laughs> Yeah, we're look for those listening, which is ninety nine point nine percent of you. Uh, we are looking at a green wall. Um, probably well, it's just, it, it, that's like the first screenshot on Steam, by the way, yeah. or one of okay. them. It's a, the third. It looks that's like misleading. a leading. Like you're setting up a green screen in your medieval <laughs> castle. <laughs> Goody, All followers. of a sudden, there's a Twitch I board next door. To you're like, broadcast. shit. We moved into the wrong neighborhood. Let's go over there into the valley. Um, but yeah, no, check out Pax Day. But like I said, give them a little time. I think the servers are gonna gonna stabilize a bit because people didn't have these issues uh, before the game launched. But I did have a good gaming week. I played um, some Monster Hunter stories. Now Capcom sent me a key, and they this is an old DS game. Now I talked about Monster Hunter Stories two. That was a game that was on Steam like a year or two ago. Now I guess they went back, and this was the DS game. 
and they put it on they remade it they put it on switch and steam i believe and so is, this is the Michelle, first say the name again because there's monster a gazillion hunter stories yes yeah, right, this is the okay. original stories game that was on the ds from 2016 cute. i think very cute um and you know i kind of went into this thinking all right this is monster hunter's version of pokemon i've never really played or gotten that into pokemon i probably wouldn't like this but you know i was i was open to it but i immediately really really liked this game even more than the second one that I had tried, um, because there was just such a real charm to it. I just don't know how else to describe it. Like it felt like it was crafted with love. It just felt good. It felt very Cartoon-y nostalgic anime. for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though I didn't have any nostalgia for it, because a lot of people playing this are like, "Oh my god, this was my favorite DS game. I can't Childhood. believe it's here." Exactly. I didn't have any of that nostalgia for it, Feels. but I didn't have. Yeah, I didn't. But I, you know. I turned the game on. I'm starting to play. I'm like, this gives me that like nostalgic feeling of being younger, being a kid and like playing this open world. Like, cause it's like this cool open world where you have monsties. Okay. Which <laughs> I don't even want to say this, but it's monsters and besties. That's what a monstie is. You collect eggs, you grow these eggs, you hatch them rather. And those are your monsters. Or, sorry, monsties. Do I have to say that? If I say that one more time, I'm going to have to smack yep. myself. The monsters fight with you and you're, but you're going around, you are doing the stereotypical quest. So you're going to this village. There's like 10 people there like, Hey, I need this. I need that. I need mushrooms. Hey, bring me a vegetarian egg or get me this. Get me that. There's a quest board. Vegetarian so, egg. Yeah, I know. He was a little weird. There How's was like that? a quest. <laughs> How does that work? Things. <laughs> I, don't, I think you it was crack like it a open, big, it's just a plant. It's like an herbivore, maybe monster in the egg. Okay, but the way the guy said it, the translation was funny. <laughs> but no, there's all these familiar things for Monster Hunter people because all the things I'm collecting and the quest board and certain characters and stuff. So I felt like at home in the world, but I had never played this game before. So I felt like I was playing this like cool old school RPG for the first time. So I, I got all. Yes. Um, now, this anime series is on Crunchyroll. And I know that. Oh. Are you going to watch? Will you watch that? <laughs> no, I mean, I could check it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was, so I, it's clearly I, based on that. Like this is some offshoot of monster hunter, right? Like some, well, yeah, I think mo- this was the first, ver- this was version? the spinoff. <laughs> yeah. Like the RPG version, the, the Pokemon version, it's turn-based fighting, but it's like combat. I know combat's a major part of it, but honestly, like the act of like collecting the eggs, getting the monsters, like the collecting aspect or getting the quest from the people. So you get the quest and you go out into this world, you're mining, you're collecting, you're exploring caves, which have eggs and you have to run the eggs back like one by one out of the cave. Like, and then you ride your mount back to town. Like it has this feeling of games. I don't know, like from another time in a good way. Like I said, like it just felt good and it flowed well. And like the pacing of it was really good. And yeah, it has a typical like uh, power attacks are good against technical, but bad against speed, like red, green, blue type thing. And there's like certain that whole system, basically Pokemon. Right. Um, But the monsters have slots of like uh, genes that you can edit, like three different things and they level up with you. Um, But it's not like, John, you know, you walk over a bush and then there's a fight. No, like there's monsters out in the world. You can kind of avoid a fight if you want. And that's what's kind of cool about it. There's like mini dungeons. And I, you know, coming off Monster Hunter Rise and World, like I started to see all the Monster Hunter I know in this game. And I think that's why I appreciated it. But even though I don't typically play turn based, like Pokemon ish type games, I actually really, really like this song, this game. Like I want to say song because there's a little guy in the village who sings. There's an old man who rhymes. Like there's all these touches. Like this old man's all of his dialogue rhymes. And then, like, I don't know, it has these, like, little touches of stuff I don't feel like we get these days with games like this, where I right. feel like when like this... Well, no, just crafted dialogue that doesn't seem like Zoomer <laughs> speak. You know what I'm saying? Zero yeah, yeah. Or just, like, Nintendo, like, or something stupid, you know, like... <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, like, I'm a dialogue... I'm a dialogue skipper, generally, okay? <laughs> I but yeah. I was Guilty. into this... I was into the singing. I was into the old man rhymes and singing like the songs are a silly part of Monster Hunter. So if you played them, you know, like when you go to the cats and they're cooking for you, there's like a little song that goes on. It's just like a fun world that like this game had charm and it like captured that. Uh, But yeah, so I didn't skip the dialogue. I was like into the game and it was one of those games that I kind of thought I would just be like, oh, it's old. It's probably not going to be. Does it hold up? You know, it's I know it's not that old, but we're it. It was a DS game, right? So yeah, whatever. But um, 
There's a new term I think it looks pretty paper. cool, to be honest. Like, I actually I like, like this, this game, yeah. John. You <laughs> might want to Steam Deck it um, if you do try. So I think that this game is cool. So check out Monster Hunter Stories. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is also on Steam as well now. And I believe they put them on the Switch at this point, too. Um, but I did play on Steam, and I really, really like ended up liking it. And then, of course, I went back and played more Monster Hunter World, which I talked about last week. Matt, you weren't here, but I talked about how I played Monster Hunter Rise, and I never played World, and I finally got it on steam on sale for nine bucks and i really really like it i think like a lot of people just skip the series they feel like i don't know there's something like off about it or wrong about it but if you're somebody who kind of likes i don't even want to say souls like because i know that's wrong and stupid but if you like challenging combat if you even like like remnants or anything like that and you've never looked at monster hunter games i feel like you would actually really appreciate the weapon system the boss battles or the monster battles, rather. Um, Would you say I think it's very hard. That's always been one barrier. It can, to these yes, days. it like, can ramp up. Be... No, but yeah. it doesn't have to be. Like there's, so I'm on. I'm like easy right now. I'm only on like four star quests. I've been just doing like a couple of hunts, you know, a couple times a week or whatever. But it ramps up, and then there's like master quests, and then there's like kind of raid. Like you have to group up for some of them. They say you won't be able to take them down yourself. Although I'm sure some people do because they've got like a thousand hours in the game. Um, but yeah, like I feel like this is a series that's still a sleeper series for a lot of people but i have friends who have had like 1500 hours in this game or 500 hours in this game and then you go look at the reviews and like every review people are like 500 hours in the game it's like holy shit i kind of get it now like i probably wouldn't go that hard and do like the super hard shit and just like make it my world but you actually could and i feel like a lot i know a lot of people who are just like i won't touch a monster hunter game no that's not for me and i'm like it's not really they see maybe the cats and the singing or the I don't know what it is, but it's like a turnoff for some people. And I just want to say, like, bringing it up again, like, I'm not even talking about stories because, yes, you know what you're getting. That does feel a little cutesy and Katie, but like Monster Hunter World is a serious fucking game. Like, if you like Mm -hmm. it's now it's stories more. It's not Kitty. I don't know why it turns into story is stories easier and more approachable than World. Stories is a totally different game. Stories is an RPG. It is a turn based game. Monster Hunter World, just like Rise, is a combat game where you are. I mean, you're basically fighting monsters. Right. You're leveling but in weapons. In general, is stories more gear. approachable if, oh, if yeah, you wanted story- to get into the world? Yeah. No, I mean, I can't even talk about them in the same sentence. I mean, yeah, the same person might like them, but that's not what I'm talking about. When I when somebody says I like Elden Ring, but ew, I'd never touch a Monster Hunter game, I don't say, hey, go try stories. I say, well, why have you never tried Monster Hunter World? And they're like, eh, no, that's not for me. And I'm like, well, I think you would appreciate Ugh. it because Monster Hunter World, like the actual way the different weapons work and the crafting of all that and like how it all works, like with the gear and the, the fights and like, I don't know, I feel like people would appreciate that if they had all, because you can do, I don't know, I, I, like I said, I don't want to say like if you're a Souls-like person, go try it, but I feel like, right. I think there's some crossover there with the boss battles and and things like that, that I don't understand why it has such like an ick factor to some people and Matt yourself included, like you would never think to try it. And it's like, well, why? I don't know. Well, what I see, actually, I do see the the correlation between uh, like an Elden Ring and this, because like you have to strategize for the bosses. You have to, you got to pump yourself up. You got to get the right equipment. Like you really got to go in knowing what you're doing. Right. Like you, I think when you get to a certain point, like you have to research, okay, well, I should probably put this type of gear on for him and I should, maybe he's better with that type of weapon. And you have to do a little preparation and stuff like that first. Now, when I played Rise, I'm sure my friends were carrying me and I missed all that. Now that I'm in World, I'm like, like, okay, I'm actually having to pay attention because like I died or I fainted, you know, a few times and I'm like, oh, I see what I'm doing wrong here. I need to learn his move. I need to roll when he does that. I need to make yeah. sure I have these potions on me because he's putting out a dot and I got to cleanse myself. So there's like this little bit of thought involved and the actual combat just feels good. And I, and I said this in my Monster Hunter World review that I left on Steam. Like generally, I have to tell you, I don't like the look of dinosaur stuff and monster stuff. It's like kind of ugly to me. Like I like high fantasy or dark fantasy or medieval stuff. I generally don't play things like this because there's like, I don't know, you're killing animals and like digging through their poop and doing like stupid shit that I, you're chasing yeah. after them. When you shoot them, they run. I fucking hate that. I hate chasing things. Okay. Yes. I know you can hit them with exhaust ammo or whatever the hell I'm supposed to do, but they run. You have to chase them and you're navigating. And these are things that are so generally on me that I'm just not good at, like trying to figure out what this 
guy's going and where and but yet I every time I like do a battle and kill like a monster I'm like that felt good that felt rewarding like this is a fucking badass game so it's getting me to do things yeah traps are important but I'm lazy badger I know I don't want to but do that's that. like real like deer hunting like you shoot it and the thing runs like yeah. 10 miles I mean I'm not right? a hunter like, like I don't know I'm just saying like <laughs> this game gets misery. me to play it even though there's like things about it that normally I wouldn't mm-hmm. like touch so I get like if you're cool. out there because like, there's some people that I've talked to this game about and they like recoil a little bit They're like oh monster hunter i don't know that's not for me that's weird i'm like why you like remnant too and i'm playing a light bow gun it kind of feels like shooting a gun in remnant and you like the boss battles there you'd probably like the boss battles here oh no that's a weirdo game so i'm here to say i don't think monster hunter is a weirdo game i really do appreciate the series and i think that you should i think that should be on the box actually yeah i don't think monster hunter is a weirdo game yeah i don't think it's a weirdo game i for some reason like some guys i've talked to they're like that's a fucking weirdo game i'm like i don't get it but (laughs) john you're playing that for <laughs> hey, weirdo. They give me Where a pass because I'm a girl. Right. There's, there's, there's well, a singing cat and an old man rhyming. Yeah, what the it's hell? It's probably Going the on. dancing singing cats. It could be the <laughs> dancing singing cats. Have you ever seen the movie, cats. by the way? They had a rebrand. Have you ever seen what? the Monster Hunter movie? <laughs> No, I've heard about it. I haven't seen it. It was so weird. There's and unrelated. a Monster Hunter like, movie. Like exactly. No action? one remembers the Monster Hunter movie. Yeah, for sure. I think it even had the girl from Resident Evil. It um, looks like. Oh, I've heard of it. Like yeah, there's like a Jovovich. guy from like. It looks like Road fighting. Warrior. But yeah, anyway, it was all in a desert, and they fought monsters, but it wasn't like this fantasy world. And there was I don't a know, I'm really excited for Wild, so that's not coming out for a while, is but like World could keep you busy with forever. Kevin Bacon? No, Tremors is a great movie. Tremors? So, <laughs> yeah, but, that's a classic. You know, I've been talking about Monster Hunter a lot, so I did want to say, even though it was posted on our Discord, <laughs> at Fanatical, and this, there's no kickback for us or anything, they're having a sale right now, Monster Hunter World and Iceborne DLC, Rise and Sunbreak DLC, all four deluxe editions for like 29 bucks. <laughs> So if you're curious about these games, you can get into them now. It, it, like, there's so many people still playing World. Like, it's still massive and still popular, and I totally get it. So I'll be playing a little bit more of that. But yeah, that that's kind of been my week. I don't really want to mention Banana, but we talked about it last week. I know, John, we had talked about it before that. But yeah. Matt, you probably don't know about it, but I did purchase the Banana. Um, now, Banana is Steam's 11th most popular game ever. It had like 850k concurrent people last I looked. World? <laughs> it's it's you don't even have to click the Banana. It's all about the Banana skins. Um, I purchased um, Matrix Banana and a Glitch Banana. Now they're already up, but I'm holding. Okay, I can't trade yet. Anyway, I've just been it's like, like a trading. You're game, right? hodling. Yeah, I'm holding. You diamond I'm hold. hands, Michelle. I'm diamond. I don't even know. <laughs> what you have diamond, diamond handing that banana? Yeah, <laughs> I purchased a banana. Okay, yes, it is interesting. Q. We now this get is into an this. investment. I, I take it because you, you want to buy a jet ski next year. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Go on. It's gambling. Perfect. It's just stock market. They <laughs> no. gamified well, the, the stock is, market. Basically, there's all these bots going. So you know, I can see why. But think about it though. Like every time there's a trade, the developer gets money, like O'Malley said last week. And but you could also get some money too so i knew what i was getting into i left it open i minimized it i didn't run auto hotkey i didn't run a bunch of bots or anything i opened it periodically like i clicked i've got a couple of bananas currency farming what is this it's like, nft i want to make open? a game anybody out there listening i want some because i know some developers none of them are biting on this but i want to ask if there's any that will contact me i want to make nft and a so it's you click on tits and ass it's just like these okay. new collect cards of women i think it's a million dollar idea so contact me in the discord let's get this to happen nft and a like a Don't hustler you, NFT. Well, th- there's already a cat game now. And what do these Steam nerds like more than cats? It's got, it, the only thing we got left is bananas? training women. That's it. Mm. That's all we got left. We got to go there. <laughs> bananas? <laughs> what? <laughs> bananas? No. Yeah, there's already up, one John. just called Cats, where you just click on cats. I installed that one. I, I wasn't don't as amused. I like banana is better, game- if I'm being honest. Yeah, you buy a banana with your real money. You don't buy a banana. You, you don't have to buy a banana. It's so it's completely free. You can make money just doing nothing. Honestly, if you wanted, probably not by now. It's probably okay. too popular in the but. But anyway, so you get this free game. You leave it running. You click once in a while. A banana drops every three to eighteen hours or something like that. So they and have you're a Discord. Saying, like, I can like pay my mortgage with this if I yeah, buy this oh, game. It happen. It, like, <laughs> it could happen. If you know Hold you on. It's like, could a rare banana drop? It is could. That what the yes. Appeal is? So like, people in their Discord uh, design uh, bananas uh, uh, and whatever. So a rare banana could drop. Okay, and then you could say. Even if it's like 50 bucks, even if it's $10 for some people that are living in Guatemala, maybe they just paid their mortgage. I, I get why people are doing this. They're in war torn Eastern Europe. They're running 12 bots because they just made more there but, okay, than they do. Okay, so I talked about gulag. this with uh, yeah. Matt McCarthy and I talked about this last night. And yes, but I, if I go to the banana store and 
Everything's a quarter. Where are the? I no, don't range get, by price. There's some last I saw for a thousand. There's so there's only a certain amount of these in existence, which is why it's getting that NFT. Comparison. Is it because I'm not logged into my Steam account? Because because if I go to the banana item store and I go all. There's four bananas and they're 25 cents each. No, you have to arrange. You have to click on the game itself and then arrange by price. You'll see them. And there's a million Man. of a certain one traded per hour. I just did it today. I've been doing it. I'm an the owner there's of two bananas. Th- Thanks. I, there's no, I, I, I don't. Click on the game banana. Do you have it in your account? Just calm down. You're not. You're not. <laughs> no, no, shouldn't no, browse, all. To, browse by I'm, game. I'm trying browse to understand by game this. banana. Okay. So browse yeah. by game banana. Diamond banana is only 35 cents. That doesn't yeah. seem right. Well, yeah, there's a lot of them. So it matters how many of them there are, right? So that's what's going to drive it. I also have a really good idea for the, for another types of these games, John, I told you about, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, look, all I want to say all is right. you don't have to spend any money in this game. It's free, okay? You could but get a rare banana. what is the game? There's what no game. The it's it. a, it's what a is the okay. game? Oh, my God. It's a what is meme. It's a game. It is a fucking meme that took off. Oh, by the way, just so you know, Steam is a game launcher library store. <laughs> And this yeah. is a video game podcast. And you're saying this is not a game. It's just it's a banana a on the screen. It's a banana on the screen that NFT you periodically click on. Simulator. And the guys who made it are probably millionaires. So who cares? You're shitting all over. It's a funny meme idea. I'm not idea. shitting all over. I'm trying Everybody's to understand so it. There's going to be so banana. many like this. Whatever. But I thought Let that like Gabe shut down all the NFT games. It's and all, not and NFT this is, though. I mean, they I might know, get it's shut the down spirit because of the bots. Of it. Yeah. Look, there's skins in Dota. There's skins in Counter-Strike. It's manipulated trading, isn't it? But it's not really manipulated. Look. You can install the game for free. You click on a banana here and there. If you want, you, you can, can put your banana, banana on the market. If you want, yeah. you don't have to. And you may get to sell your banana for a dollar and you've just made a dollar for installing a free game. That could happen. But do you have That's it. Okay. It's it's just a meme. It's a silly this meme that took off. All hell. <laughs> Their code is very so simple. People have looked at it. It's not a, a crypto miner. It's not doing you know, anything if nefarious. Ubisoft did this Everyone would be like, "This is the worst thing I've ever seen." I was Steam Ubisoft allowing this. would never do this. This oh, is just every a game, game company is going to do this eventually. Every no, you game guys company. are like making something out of it that it isn't. It's just a silly meme because there was an egg game that you where you just clicked on an egg and all, and they had this idea where the Discord mm. people started making skins. And look, they're not. This is not a scam. They're not hard. Like they, I knew what I was getting into. I put the free game on. I clicked the banana. I thought it was funny. I wanted to be a part of the banana craze. I purchased it's a fine. Matrix banana that is proudly displayed on my Steam profile. And and maybe one day I'll turn that that ninety nine cents banana I bought into. Here's $50. a real criticism, okay? though, Michelle. I'm what? looking at these bananas. One is just a silhouette of banana with a video game screen behind it. So they're getting pretty lazy now you're already. Picking with these on the bananas? bananas. Calm down. Some are they're, common. Like it's There's just it's just a cut out of a banana. Existence. You tell it's just, so, they're getting lazy already. That's why I do like the bio one. The the bio bio is Nana. There's a banana for everybody. There's a banana for everybody. Well, that means all the useless. They're all useless. Matt, then why collect them? They're all useless. What do you mean? You collect trophies that do nothing for you on PlayStation. Some people collect stuff. you don't have it's to collect all of them. Million different banana ones. Do you see? Of like do you see Steam butt, profiles? That's banana. what people do. They, there's an item showcase. There are items, and you can display item showcases, like items that you like. This That's shouldn't what be on a is. games list. Is all I'm saying. This should be on top ten Steam memes. I mean, Wallpaper Engine is on Steam. It's it, there's you know there's videos there's movies on Steam there's guides on Steam. It's not it's not a game. You guys are thinking. You have guys have to think is this bigger your game than of the year, what Michelle? a game is. No. It's a popular topic that we should discuss, though, which I even called before it got big. And I I told John about like a month and a half ago and people are acting like I'm crazy. And now here it is with like a million players at once. I'm telling you, it's it's just a funny meme game. People are confused because it it makes me sound like I'm talking to fucking 70 year olds. that just don't get it. You guys don't get it. Like now, wait a a second. So there's a banana on the screen. And then then, then, wait, and then you get a picture. This is the game. I'm confused. You put it on your profile. Do I print it out? Do I print? No, it out and mail it to my parents joke. and it took off now, and i thought I it was funny put it in my wallet with a photo of my right kids um, and i trade it for mcdonald's down the street is it money people are like i'm so angry at these people they're scammers we gotta shut them down like it's like changing our lives it's the, they fucking made it i like anybody who makes something funny and silly 
whatever they made it it took off like you either download it or don't like i don't know it's this silly yeah, stupid thing you. it's not like tomorrow, oh, this is, these are nfts and we gotta stop this let's get together gamers but you tomorrow know, michelle there's gonna be a billion right. of these clones there's is that your billion alex jones imitation you did there jones. i just hurt my throat there's <laughs> bananas, <laughs> there's a van. bananas everywhere bananas are everywhere i'm not in my yeah, back the black, black fans are coming from there you eating the babies and now they got bananas yeah, there's a gay banana. It's there's a false a flag, flag, those bananas. There's a banana That's right. for everybody. I own two bananas that I purchased. I'm proud of them. I'm going to put them in my There's people on Steam that are selling bananas. <laughs> so anyways, I got my own banana They're out there because might as well the world's market. going to shit. If they were doing that, Valve would kick them off and they may. But I'm saying like they're not harming anybody. They don't promise you anything. It's a free game. Put it These on. These bananas are making the frogs gay, want. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, the Illuminati's getting together with Deep State to give these bananas. I just want to, to tell you that there's certain bananas. There's only 20 of them in existence. I don't even. I've got a rare banana. It's already up from the dollar I paid. Okay, I think it's worth like 25 bucks or something. So Gosh. who's laughing now? Okay, I don't know, Michelle. <laughs> I don't know. But Listen, okay, okay. But when I'm you just get saying. your jet ski next year, you're gonna have the last laugh. Okay, yeah, so that's right. right. I'm up twenty five dollars because I put the banana game on. You guys, what right. are you doing? What's the banana? Yeah. Broadcasting from a new. Uh, I don't yeah. understand a Michelle's with her panty drop around the lake. I don't and understand. We're... <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. I don't, I don't need a job. I've got fucking show. banana game. Okay, you guys just don't. Get I sold it. my goatsy banana for this yeah. house. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So I'm holding, I'm holding my bananas. I hope the banana Bitcoin comes soon. Diamond hold your bananas, soon. baby. Diamond anyway, hold your bananas is the name of this I am. episode, by the way. Nah, I don't miss any of that. But anyway, <laughs> NVIDIA is now the most, uh, what is it? It beat Diamond. Apple and Microsoft, most valuable company. So that's the real news. But anyway, I'm just drinking water. <laughs> Some banana life. Some banana took the energy out of me. <laughs> I did, Badger. I did reference Todd Howard, who's laughing now. I'm glad you got that. I put that in there for you Starfield fans. All right, John, what did you play over there? Uh, um, so I've been playing Call of Duty. Um, Don't lose the energy not. now, John. Let's not. You can't follow a banana game with Call of Duty. <laughs> but I have been playing Call of Duty. I'm playing the new maps, uh, Paris and Tokyo. I think it's pretty good. Uh, but, Matt, I did play a game that you might want to check out. Michelle mm-hmm. actually pointed me in the direction of this game. So um, now you guys you guys might uh, have heard an episode from a week or two ago where I talked about Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip. Yes. Uh, did you play that? No, but that's on my list. Okay. It comes down. And then, so. of course, uh, another game kind of in the spirit of that, I think, in a way, is Little Gator, which I liked last year. Yep. Yep. And then I discovered Wobbly Life. Well, you, well, I discovered it. You discovered it. Because <laughs> I said, this looks lame. This looks like a John game. This looks lame. <laughs> now, hang on. Now, Matt, I, honestly, this is probably a game that you, you might want to get with your, for your, to play with your kid. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone seems to love this game. It's got like overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, 10 out of 10. So what it is, it's, it's an open world game. The end. It's a kid-friendly, light game. It's a little saccharine sweet, though, for me, kind of. Like, Tiny Terry is a little sarcastic, and the humor is a hair dark, I guess. Uh Whereas this is not. This is kind of very benign, um, very sweet. The music is, like, all just, like, happy and stuff. And, like, I I feel like it's kind of going for that Roblox crowd or something. Or goat simulator-ish type thing. Yeah, a little bit. But it's an open world game like GTA, like a Grand Theft Auto type game where you have quests, you have people all over the place. The world's actually pretty big. Uh, yeah. it, it is a ragdoll physics game. You know, it's kind you of a the move. Ragdoll well, physics, John. Well, there's actually a button, love Michelle, everybody. that is ragdoll. There's a ragdoll button. Yeah. We just is like, like go tur- simul- Is that like a turn on fetish for you? Like, is there ragdoll porn? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, the thing is, throwing your real dolls against the, the wall. Floor. Just well, like Matt, a- you know, well, Goat Simulator also <laughs> yeah. has this, like where you where the goat goes yeah. limp, where you, you can, shoot yourself out of a cannon. Yeah, you're just like a but, you're a ragdoll. But there's bones. a button where the goat just like collapses and goes limp, Correct. like the yeah. ragdoll yeah, why button. Why are people so into limp bodies? I don't know. This game it looks does funny it too. when they're getting like splatted yeah. and stuff. But I don't understand. Like, funny. But Michelle, it creeps me out. I don't like it. I think it's a sick underworld. I'm going to tell you every time I press the fucking A button that makes yeah. my guy collapse. Yeah. It, it, it actually annoys me because there's no point to it. Like, it's I don't only understand. To turn wh- people on. I, who's like jerking off to Roblox. limp goats? I don't get it. Well, don't guys judge, jerk don't off judge, to anything. Yeah. You would be surprised. To yeah. limp goats? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. like goats. Yeah, my high school band. 
Oh yeah. So like the, their bones turn to like gelatin. Like that's I think sexy? it's a turn on. It's like the necrophiliac types. <laughs> I think I re- there's fun, something yeah. funny slash sexy about just when people go Sex? live and get flown off into the. Distance. I really do. Think no, there's no, a kink we're talking. Okay, so like in Goat yeah. Simulator, in this game, you press a button and the bones turn basically into. We understand g- the premise. I know, but why? I, I, I don't get how that part is sexy. Uh, a because thing just collapsing. They want to fuck a dead doll. They want total <laughs> passiveness. <laughs> they total they passive goat action, yes. baby. They want right. Cosby drug. They want her to be just ready and a willing dead, to anything they offer. A goat and a well, little like Lego looking well, character. Well, you can dress that goat up as other well, things. If they did it as remember. a woman, people would say it was like sex <laughs> abuse. So they get they get by with the goat okay. and the wobbly man. Continue. All right. So the game has this ragdoll thing. I don't know why. It doesn't seem to add to the gameplay when we your guy know collapses. Why. Okay. But if you do want to jerk Ooh. off to this, maybe like like put like a noose around your neck and tie it on a doorknob. Yeah. Right. Like, get your like, <laughs> limiting oxygen is supposed to enhance. Doesn't help. Yes. Robin Williams that's what, died. That's what I'm getting something. at. Well, that's uh, Anthony Bourdain, maybe too. But oh, um, yeah. what? <laughs> I think I didn't there was a rumor visual. about that. Sorry. Okay. And also, the guy from Kill Bill did that too. Right. David Carradine. See, they could just play wobbly life, and they could still be here. <laughs> Don't um, do it, guys. Put it down. All right, so this game is an open world game, and I have to say it is interesting to me and actually kind of f- fun. Is that the word, or is it relaxing, chill? It is chill. It's a chill game. Uh, don't ask the, us. We don't know. I know. Yeah. But but what I like about this game is the scope of the world, and right. it's the kind of shit that I love. There is a military base with helicopters. Mm. Oh, there is oh. an aircraft carrier with jets. There are so there's it's a boats, fun literal sandbox. There's like shit plate. everywhere. Yeah. There's vehicles. There's See, flying you're making vehicles. Fun of me when I say Pax Day is a sandbox, <laughs> and mine's like a cool looking Unreal Five yeah. medieval game. And I think yours my daughter is like would love this wobbly. And and, and, and uh, if you read the reviews on Steam, now I didn't try this, but they or one. This is on PlayStation, by the way, too, Matt, and Xbox. Cool. Uh, and us. there is couch co-op, so you guys mm. could play together on the same That's TV. What I'm talking about. So yeah. I think you would want to play this. Um, but what I really like about it is all the things you can do. Uh, like I got in a boat and I went fishing for like 20 minutes and I had a quest to catch five fish. Were and the fish I, the, limp or is that wobbly? Only no, no, no. The boat had a built in fishing pole. I just went to the fishing spot okay. and I sat there and caught fish and I was like, I kind of did not hate that. You know, like what I just Why did. Why do you always I, say that? Well, that it's is true. so weird. Well, it's I like that, fish, didn't hate that, that fishing in the the fishing in the Atlantic game. I fucking loved on the Xbox. Okay, uh, and it, was, it had some minor vibes of that. But basically, I, I took a boat out. It took me like ten minutes to get to the fishing area. It took me ten minutes to fish. It took me ten minutes to get back. And I was like, okay, that was a fun little activity. And then I find this island with a military base. I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. I see helicopters. Mm-hmm. I go in there, steal a helicopter. I'm flying around the fucking world. I'm into it. He's I let- straight up enjoyed like Fisher Price GTA. I know. Yeah, yeah. And then I land. And then I land. It is. It totally Fisher is. And then, I, and then I land on an aircraft carrier and I'm like, holy shit, there's F 15s. And yeah. then I get an F 15 and it, it wants me to do like this, like uh, pilot wing style, like acrobat challenge where i have to fly through rings and stuff i'm like holy shit there's a lot of games i had a simulator that's just tons of just stuff you discover to do yeah ghost simulator i felt like you stumbled into the objectives whereas this is more like you talk to someone get a quest right yeah that's what goat is too look it's more like life you live the life yeah so i I think of the three games like i think tiny terry for me is probably the better game with more structure and a, Mm -hmm. a clear objective but I think this is really for younger people. Um, but I do appreciate what they did with this game because there's a lot of like mysteries and intrigue. There's there's some story going on. There's something because when you call them people, I, I feel like that doesn't register. Younger people, if it's like a four year old, like a child, like I'm, I was thinking, like a, well, my daughter was like I don't know eight, nine, ten. Okay. Like she would play like Toontown and shit. So like this is like way this. too kitty. But you liked it. Well, I'm saying from yes, I. Okay. Yeah, I did not. I, I recognize that what they did here is is actually pretty kind of neat, and mm-hmm. uh, you can get lost in it. I can totally see this. Um, so that I, I'm saying, I do recommend this, especially if you have younger kids and you want to do co- couch co op. Um, okay. But if you do want some like little open world stupid game, like I really like that Tiny Terry's Turbo Trip. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just do. All right, so let's talk about Shin Megami. 
10 C? 10 C. Vengeance? 5 Vengeance. Okay, so I have played one of these games in this series before. I had it for the DS or 3DS, and it was actually Shin Megami 10 C4. So this is the sequel. Uh, The last one I played was on the 3DS. And I remember when I got on the 3DS, people were losing their shit about it. And I remember saying, God, this game's fucking hard. I hate it. And I just mm-hmm. stopped playing it. And But the game on the 3DS was more like 2D-ish. This is like a fully 3D like adventure turn-based RPG game. And, and, and by the way, this game is not technically new. This game came out in 2021. We're being corrected. It's 10, say... Okay, it's all right. And yeah, I've heard it's a remake of an old game, so it's the whole old campaign and a whole new campaign they added. Yes, and there's something very important that you should know if you do get this game. In the beginning, in the very beginning of the game, you're like in some limbo place with some dead girl, and if you take her hand, you have a choice of taking her hand or not, and if you take her hand, you will get the new Vengeance storyline and okay. if you refuse, you get the previous game. That's cool, and, though, that they added something. It's not just a remake. They did a whole yeah. new thing to it. And, and they don't tell you this. And I quickly <laughs> Googled it. I'm like, <laughs> and, I, and I'm glad I did because, because it, it just says, do you want to take her hand? And if you do, you get the new game. And so the new game, I guess, it, it's still like the same game, but there's quality of life stomp. There's new characters. There's new side quests. There's new stories. It's basically like an enhanced version of the game that came out in 2021, like on the Switch and everything. Um, but if you wanted to play the original one, you can. And I don't I, see this I, being your game, John. I'm not well, going to lie. Well, hang on. These are so. These are like two hundred hour games that Say, I, I read like sixty. It's really positive so, reviews on but, it. But here's the thing, man. No, like, I know I, people love. But I do play. Sure. I definitely own a ton of turn based strategy games. I played a lot of them, and the combat on. Okay, what I like about this, besides, okay, the combat is absolutely turn based. Okay, and so what you're doing. So the game starts out in in modern day Tokyo, and I have to say, I was impressed with how it looked, and I played mm-hmm. it on my Steam Deck on a TV. Uh, at 1080p on my deck, a little TV. And okay. it runs fucking fantastic on the Steam Deck. It never got off 60 frames, like, ever. And it looks good. It really does look good. But what surprised me about this game was how open-worldy it was and how 3D it was compared to the last one I played on 3DS. Mm-hmm. Like, this is an adventure game. And you pl- you were like this Tokyo high school kid, and it starts out, like, in modern day... These kids go into some prep school. They all have uniforms on. And then he stumbles... Your character, who is androgynous, very much so, stumbles into this, like, underground lair that takes you to this, like, dystopian netherworld that is, like, this alternate evil version of Tokyo, but it's, like, all destroyed and there's demons everywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's where I am right now. And so what's different about this game, it has, like, the Pokemon kind of thing where you're you can fight the monsters and just kill them and get XP and they might drop some shit or in the middle of a battle, you can talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. That's persona. Yeah. You can yeah, talk to them. Spun off this J row says in the chat. So oh, that, I didn't, I, didn't actually, know I actually that. never, I actually never knew that. Yeah. We have some hardcore JRPG people. Yeah. And so you can talk to the demons back and then, the yeah, yeah. I played persona one of them like 10 years ago. So I don't, I'm not really into that series, but, but I, Okay, so anyway, and I totally forgot the the last game I played like eleven years ago. Um, but so like you're in a battle and you can basically on your turn kill them or n- talk to them, and then you get some branching dialogue. And if you say all the things right, they'll join your party. Oh, that's cool. And and then um, the game is hard. I've died quite a bit. Uh, I'm still really in the beginning and at the first boss. And it, the game basically told me up ahead is your boss. And you can't avoid him. You're going to have to fight him. We recommend that you go, you go back and level up before you continue forward. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> You're not ready. <laughs> we, we, you can see the boss go up there. Go play yeah, Fisher we, Price GTA. Yeah, you we don't wobble think. wobble in the corner, buddy. <laughs> we don't think. Well, it was a boilerplate spot. response, Michelle, that everyone got, not just guys that play wobble games. Wo- oh, really? It didn't <laughs> say go wobble, 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 baby, wobble buddy? Baby. No, I thought it did. I thought no, it did. So, so it's kind of like the Elden Ring thing where you, you can go ahead if you want. You can try, right. but it's it's basically telling you yeah, go back, get you. capture yeah. some more demons, level up, get some XP, and then and then there's like this whole like f- good. there's get like good. this whole fusing <laughs> thing where you get like there's a million currencies in this game too, which I'm not sure how I feel about. Do you like games that have all these invented currencies and they're all weird fucking names? And this as long one as they don't go right into my bag. 
looking at you Diablo no, they 4 don't. or whatever. Uh, but I'm getting like some demon poop shard and some oh, yeah. some yeah. wind wind money and you know it's just mm-hmm. like all these currencies and then you have to figure out where well, to spend them all with all the exile div- is and with pew yeah. too they're actually adding gold in the game because then they're gonna yeah. put all that shit at a vendor and then you just use gold to buy all those different other currencies at a vendor so i mean there is yeah. a concern Key there conversion. but yeah, yeah. So like, so like, so like there'll be like a dead tortoise. body on the it ground. It's more and you immersive could, though. If you're killing a demon and they yeah. drop demon poop, it feels better than just like, oh, that. Right, demon and then had you go to the poop. vendor and she's like, oh, do you want to fuse your demon poop into your body? And I say yes, and it says, okay, right. you have three demon poop. And uh, I heard a story about a woman who had like IBS. <laughs> she put her brother's poop up her butt, and it cured oh God, it. Stop. So there's like stop. a second brain in the stomach, which we're learning about, but there, apparently it like transfers the yeah. the. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. The bacteria. You didn't like poop rag, but you told us that story, Michelle. Well, I don't use a poop rag. That's vile. But I right. read the articles. Actually, well, interesting yeah. In, in this science. game, you don't insert poop in anyone's butt or right. your butt. It so just... if you're out there and you have a bellyache, just take your brother's shit, <laughs> squeeze it up your yeah. ass. But just confirm, John. There's no about pooping the in butts I in this game. I just no, no, no. About... The, the, yeah. the demon poop currency I actually it, made up. It's it's not called. No, that. I it's called it's something else. How dare you? But it has all these weird things where you're just you're constantly. Grabbing orbs and souls and, and poops demon and, poop. and, 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 belly. Yeah. and then yeah. and then so what DPs. the game wants you to do is like <laughs> is like you'll get some essence of a demon mm-hmm. not poop. capture if you don't if you don't capture the demon you might get the essence of a demon and then you go to this lady and then you could fuse yeah. the, the abilities of that demon. What you're describing you. is yeah. persona for the past thirty years. Like all this talking to you, <laughs> okay. like this has yeah. been the formula of persona for like yeah. Like I have a persona, persona game that this, apparently yeah. Okay, so what I like about this game, and the combat I really don't mind at all. I actually kind of like it, uh, the turn-based combat. I, um, this has been like, but it's redone. It's a remake, and Persona spun off this whole series. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah, but, no, no, sorry. Yeah, you're absolutely right. What I'm saying is, like, these are new features in case you're... Well, it's like, not this first every time game has them. combining things that drop off an enemy. He's talking about, like, <laughs> some complicated system here, John. You can move on. We get you it. You can fuse they stuff drop. to no, make I'm not stuff. talking about, like, they a dagger. Stuff. You collect them in your bag. He's doing this like he talks about... <laughs> I'm not talking about your a dagger. You get it. You kill a monster, you no, you don't. monster you really it drops don't. shit. Literally. Yeah, but it'll drop some currency that you don't even know you're getting, and then you go to we the understand. fountain, and we you have five... That. Yes, I've played I know, a video but game before. <laughs> the monster's not dropping a, a higher-level sword, okay? Right. It's a cr- it, yeah, it, dropping it goes into your resources. bag, but it's a it's resource tab. It's not dropping tab. resources. It is. You basically it's basically a resource. It's item taking up your inventory you're, space. It's no, still you're, dro- you're basically... Yeah, you end it. up with like the essence of the demon in your bag, and you we strip know. the abilities from the, the thing and fuse it into you. Because you're like, what, yes. do you sell the husk of the abilities then? Like, do you just, or you just be- use them? once you strip the essence of the demon out of it, it becomes okay, so absent. It's a resource for stripping essence. Like monsters drop you're, a resource. You're, you're stripping their abilities is what you're doing. I think we're just. I think we get so, it. So, okay, I've, yeah. Whatever. What I do like what? about the game, though, what? is the world is fucking awesome and the monsters are so really? weird and kook- kooky like yeah i saw some weird monsters like a hand <laughs> come out of her mouth and shit yes <laughs> i actually like it like yeah. it's so fucking bizarre right like, it's and very I, I, japanese i like the world like, like quite a bit and i was mm-hmm. playing like before the show i didn't want to fucking stop like i'm like into it so he's into some kinky shit matt i told you the wobbles the hands out of the mouth <laughs> yeah and there was like some weird that creature that had like yeah. a little like fire plug penis, I think, Ew. like coming out of it. Like, <laughs> well, see, I told fire you, dick. Yeah, fire, fire dick plug demon. penis. Yeah, like a little, like a plug. Thing. Why is it a plug? Fire plug penis. Fire plug penis. That was your nickname in high school. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna say that what I've played so far, I like this game quite a bit, and I actually want to play oh, it a lot more. Good. I can't. Wait. How open? It's- when you're saying open world, are you, it's, you go through all Tokyo, like just wander no, around? No, it's or? it's like it's like a large open area with walls. It's it. okay, yeah, like a hub. It's a hub. <laughs> okay, it's it's, it's 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 basically a linear area with like alleyways, it's not open open world, like optional alleyways and stuff. You know, like okay. yeah, like a hub. We're being like told that a, penis monster is a trademark of these games and Persona. You'll find one in every game. Are you being serious? That's what that's what I'm 
seeing that's here. The, yeah, that that's the word on the street from Gyro here. Fire dick demon? All right, let me type yep. in penis monster. He says penis monster slash Ooh, demon no, 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 is, no. is a trademark. Incognito. Incognito Badger says Mojo. his favorite monster is the succubus. <laughs> Yeah, I, I always like a good succubus. I know. All right, so there's a vagina yeah. monster. There's a penis vagina? monster. Yeah. Vagine. <laughs> yeah. Vagine. <laughs> but nice of a yeah, vagina. There is, there is a, yeah, there is a large vagina monster. Ooh, a large one. Nobody wants a large one. Hey, yeah. that's what I call my wife. Hey. Yeah, it's like How a hot dog in a hallway. Um, yeah. <laughs> hot dog in a hallway. That's what I've what? always heard. It's like throwing dudes. a hot dog down a hallway. Yeah. Hot dog down a hallway is no good. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess there are a lot of... There's a little kink. It's what you want. It's an adult game. Yeah, Have the fun, monsters guys. are really kooky, episode. aren't they? Yeah. Look, look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, they have they big don't, boob demons. Like, it's always wonky, the, the same. Art What is that? Yeah, okay, that's a penis in a wheelchair. <laughs> what is that? What is that, like a, <laughs> a gladiator? Yeah. Okay. It's like those what? rice wagons that you see people. That's what they with. say about Matt when they see him coming. A green penis. <laughs> no, here comes a penis, penis has... in a wheelchair. Well, <laughs> I don't. Why does he have arms and a tongue? Uh, it doesn't even he can make give sense. himself a blowjob <laughs> and a hand job. That's a, that penis has it made. All right. Well, this game's Got four crazy. Four little penis arms. Seems it like is crazy. Fun. I actually <laughs> like it. And Good. honestly, it seems so much more fleshed out than that DS game. I remember. Like I. I was actually shocked. I'm like, this is like a real game. Like the DS game was just like so small, 2D ish. You know, mm-hmm. like this is a big game. Good. Um, cool world. It really is. So yeah, I played that, and I'm drinking a uh, Coke Zero spiced. All right, Matt. Hey, I had some highs and lows this week in gaming. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. So I don't, I guess I, I'll start with kind of lows. I want to okay. build up. I want to get yeah. the negative energy out of the way. So I have craft, uh, I have my craft box. And with that, I've got my game pass. Yep. And I've just been going through that whole library. I've just been like going back into games, like taking little test samples. Mm-hmm. And But a new game was released this week. Still Rise the Deep. Is it Still uh, Wakes the Deep? It is a stuff. Yeah, Still Wakes the Deep. Yes. Still Wakes the Deep. That's right. Correct. It, um, I, I didn't know nothing about this game going into this. I think you guys had seen an ad or something. Like, it looks you like suggested a, it's a horror it game. We had someone say it potentially was a mat game. I don't know anything about but it. But you're it's, on an oil rig? Yeah. Yeah, first person oil rig. Now, in my mind, I thought this was like Now, did you see the Mark oil Wahlberg oil okay, rig shut movie? The fuck is up. anything so like that? So you didn't know no. anything about uh, it. What? It's not <laughs> like that at all? It is. It is. There's a lot of, okay. there's a lot of linkages. Deep you're an everyday horizon. guy. Yeah. Yep. What? You're, an, you're an everyday guy, and a yep. disaster strikes. <laughs> you drill into something, okay. and all, all hell breaks loose. Mm-hmm. That's the story that's playing on around you. The, the game... Hmm. which is very loose definition for what this is, <laughs> at least for the first three hours, oh. is moving in one line, one scripted line, no deviations, nothing to explore, nothing to see, as the story plays out and you open doors and you go to the next place and more story plays out. Occasionally, when, when shit starts getting real, you got to make a jump one or two times and then you got to turn a bunch of cranks. There's so many cranks that you have to turn in this game to oh. get to where you want to go. Um so I, from what from three hours playing this game, there's only two sections that I'd call like legitimate gameplay where you're being stalked by something, and even then, like I think it was executed poorly. I yeah. this, I I love this world. I love oil rigs. I've always have. I, I've played oil really? rig games a ton. <clears throat> yeah, I always bring them up, and then I love <clears throat> the voice acting in this. I love the story. You it, love it oil is a cool rigs. Story. I, I love that like vibe of an oil rig. Just like the vibe you get. Yeah, just like so. A you have seen the Mark scene. Wahlberg like a sweaty movie, sweaty man who's like yeah, got broad buddy, shoulders. Seen the Mark and he's just movie. Yeah, a wrench. Okay, <laughs> like you work real hard all day and it's raining right. and you're just like chatting with your That's boy. And I was fascinated by the like the helicopter trip to mm-hmm. work and stuff. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. But you live there, right, for like three months yeah, and like just yeah. like isolation, dorm. just a bunch of men on a boat. Well, the, I think I could do it. I the flight yeah. simulator, like Matt, like you should Alaskan. look at the, the next flight simulator because you're going to be doing missions like rescuing people on oil rigs and shit. With, well, that's cool. With choppers. So all that would be way more exciting <laughs> with this game. The is. This, this game is definitely don't buy this game. If you're on Game Pass and you want just like a few hours of yep. an interactive movie, that's fine. But I, if I had to pay full price for this game, I'd be upset because there's very little actual 
game that requires more than just pressing a button to interact with the next thing that takes you along the uh, the very linear experience yeah. that you're doing here. Uh, which is upsetting because when you first wake up in your little cab, there's things to look at and like, okay, it's going to be that type of game where there's tons to discover and read. There's zero collectibles. There's like one or two signs you can look at. And strangely, like there's only a few objects you can pick up. Like you'll be in a room of everything and you can only pick up the mug. And it's just it's just random That's stuff so like weird. that. It's because it's so easy to toss in interactive like audio tapes that can play that tell stories yeah. or things you can pick up and collect. Like in Monster like Hunter make, Stories, I can yeah. collect pigs. There's little things called piggles or poggles or something, and I love when I find one. Like it's it's an easy little thing to add. So still wakes it's, the deep sounds. But bad. some games <laughs> go overboard with that. <laughs> this, is, this is the op, complete op. Like yeah. there's no there's zero. You think like okay, at least if I go down a hall, there's there's nothing like that. Mm. There's no other path to like take. Like Starfield. <laughs> uh, I'll get to that, that in a second, actually. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> uh, but while you're talking about Game Pass, though, Matt, I kept thinking of yeah. you because I'm like, this is great. Like, yeah. they had the Xbox event. We recapped it. You didn't have an Xbox. I'm thinking Matt was going to miss out on a lot of these games, these big games like Doom and Fable mm. and all these big announcements. Oh, how do you Doom. feel now having an Xbox with how, like, Game Pass That's is shaping right. up now? Because they're adding a lot of heavy hitters over the next year. Do you, my, like, this craft box my, went up, right? The value went up. This craft box value <laughs> yeah. has gone up in my eyes. Like, yeah. I was a bit on the three. 3.5 out of 5 scale with Game Pass. And, yep. and just as, as of last week's announcement and what I've played, I'm like, this yep. is a 4.9 value for me. Like, nice. I can look forward to Indiana Jones. The thing is, we Doom. knew this. Matt, yep. Michelle and I both predicted yeah. that you were going to go well, no, shit. I'm told I'm a hater. And <laughs> yeah. people are like, do you even like video games? I'm like, 95% of the games I review are positive. They thought that I was too negative yeah. on the Xbox review, John, which I don't think I was. Really? And I, I, I oh. can clearly see that like this is a value now like for people with Game Pass. Like, there's are, heavy like, hitter games. Yeah. This, like, in the next six months, there's like one major release that new yeah. fable looks cool yep. uh that stop motion animation vibe what like the bayou one um, yeah that, south of midnight cool. yeah clock, that looks awesome i mean awesome. that's still a game pass game right it's still check it out like kind of yeah. excitement type for and it doom which doom, is like the, course, the standard looks yep. for me for first person yeah i mean so, medieval do i mean the fact that we're getting like an indiana jones i mean that's like one of their that is their the biggest game they've released like probably yeah. maybe that's ever uncharted like that's ever like, like honestly like the quality like, i was saying doesn't look like uncharted quality as far as like polish uh, well, I, good guys <laughs> yeah what's we'll that man see. It doesn't look that fun. Like yeah. there's a lot of punching I, I'm and well, like, yeah. watching okay, so stuff. We'll but Matt, the we'll new I thought the review. new trailer had it just captured the whimsy of Indiana Jones. Oh, it captured a again. cool movie scene, but I saw yeah. very little gameplay. We'll, we'll round table like, these did... games now. It's great that Matt has Game Pass. Thank you again, <laughs> yeah. Crafty. The value yeah, has Crafty's gone up on that Xbox. So so yeah. Well, I'm not, oh, that's right. Sony'd. I mean, I mean, Matt, you could be you could be a Call of Duty guy now too because it's on Game Pass. Yeah, I'm still never going to be Call of Duty. Um, you know what I am? I'm a I'm a multiverse madman. You right? are really? not. Ah, yeah. So really? this Get relaunched. Out of here. Now this relaunched. game sucks so bad they took it away and then they brought it back. I don't. I didn't really play the last game. I think I played one day. But my son got it super into it. So obviously, I'm like, yeah, let's play. Let's try this. Yep. And we have been having so much fun with this thing. Like, you have riffs you can do as solo little challenges, and that teaches you each of these characters. Each of the characters are. I mean, they're fun. Each feels really different in terms of the moves and kind of the style that you play. It's Super Smash. It brings back Super Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers to me. Well, it is Smash Brothers with Warner yeah. Brothers characters, right? But like, it's that zaniness, right? Like you're just mm -hmm. like you're having a whimsy. Good, it's not yeah. sweaty. It's just you're smashing into each other until Let's not someone use just whimsy goes on the, on the show that often, John. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of whimsy though, Mister. Oh, no. I like. I, yeah. It's got adventure. It, it's time whimsical, right? It, it is. It's very whimsical. John, you love wobbly Super and whimsical, whimsical things. I'm concerned about you. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Free to play. Yep. Um, we've already unlocked a few characters by just playing, like Iron mm -hmm. Giant and stuff like that. They got the Gremlins. I don't know. This this feels like a fun game if you're not very hardcore into like fighters and you just want something just like put on with friends while you're. You drinking need or something. to max six characters to earn enough currency for one character, but new characters cost double the average price of three K fighter currency. I mean, this game's getting shit on. It's no. getting bad reviews. You're saying for the average consumer, they wouldn't notice, wouldn't care. It's I just don't know. Fun. Oh, but here's the here's I don't, a I didn't million dollar question, economy. Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here's a million dollar question because people. Okay, you just said like you know it's not hardcore yeah. fighter or whatever, but like yeah. the people who are really into Smash Brothers would probably totally disagree with you. Absolutely. Like, like the uh, ones that have serious tournaments. So here's why and... I say that. 
here's what I say that you can go really in depth with each character. There's like huge well, that's what I'm asking. Is this okay. as good as Smash Brothers? And technically, you mean on that level? I mean, who could compare well, that? I couldn't. Well, will people have tournaments? Or there are mm-hmm. the events? Uh, like, is it I think the- so. I. I mm-hmm. was looking at the move set the other day for like Shaggy, yeah. and it was like it was two pages, and it was like, mm-hmm. and if you do this after doing this and this and this, I'm like, so someone can get really into this game. There's a skill cap here, which is good. You want to see a skill cap like large range, yeah. yeah. It's a huge like you can go in casual and just have a lot of fun, or you okay. can just like get really into depth and and go balls with this game. Which and what's your favorite character? Well. Is it Ken? Uh, no, Jason Voorhees is pretty fun, but there's also um. The banana. You guys didn't watch Adventure Time. There's a little banana. There's a banana, Michelle. Nice. I mean, I don't even like bananas. The smell that makes me want to puke. Just so we're clear. (laughs) (laughs) Just try to. Why is Jason? Is that a Warner brother? I ate a bite of a banana at five at the beach and spit it out. Chun Li is there. Crafty says. But why is he in that? Friday the Thirteenth is a Paramount movie. Oh. I guess they have some kind of partnership, or maybe that's their version. I don't know. Oh, they had Agent Smith from The Matrix, which is kind of cool. Mr. So just a bunch of weird. Anyways, so okay, I want to very briefly. I mean, I've been really wanting to love Starfield, so I'm like, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to sit mm. down on Father's Day, put in like three hours, and just be like, force myself through the opening because I know it's a slow opening. Get to the point where I'm, I'm kind of adding to my ship and start doing stuff. And it started like the hooks have started. Like <laughs> I'm now. I'm now coming back to it every day like, okay, I could do another And, and again, I also predicted this. When you yes, like just I, dismissed this game, I knew it was a PC issue, not a game issue for you. No, the first couple of hours, I think, for him are rough. He tried on console again. They're rough. They're yeah. tough. Yeah. Um, but honestly, once you get into it, I know one of the biggest complaints about this game was that it's all menus and fast yeah. travel. But I'm going to say, as someone who has played this game... And and love Fallout to death, and Fallout's are great games. I think we're romanticizing what Fallout was a little too much. Sure, you could just go out there and explore and come across new locations, but those locations were like a park with a swing or like the same house that so you. So what found. you're saying is Bethesda so, quality has always been shit. Should have known it was going to be shit. It's it, shit. It's because yeah. that they haven't done anything new well, no. in four years. <laughs> Fuck you. The point about I'm it. making there is when yeah. people say, "Oh, they didn't let us go out and explore like mm-hmm. Fallout," but like. You're remembering yeah. Fallout a little differently. It wasn't right. that much of an experience. Okay. You still get that experience. You just, instead of walking for 10 minutes, you can click a menu and go explore a different part of the city. So You don't think there were too I, many steps getting in your ship to get to a planet to do this? I mean, the there's a mod stupid, on PC honestly. that removes all that, and it makes it way better. So, yeah. so that- here's what, in my vanilla game, I, here, I press pause one step, go to the map, uh, maybe have to zoom out, or click my plant. Yeah, I guess there's like seven steps. Yeah, there's a mod that removes a lot of that. It makes it feel better. There's a lot of like clunky UI issues. Yeah. But, you know, people say there's a lot here. There's people that have played this game for 100 hours and say it's worth doing it. So you think you're in now? They got you. You're going to put more time in. I think in. I'm in. And look, uh, yeah. Followed, I still agree, is much better just in terms of the overall, the way they tied it all together. But there, yeah. there's a lot of cool stuff. And it's got humor. It's got some cool quest lines. I'm actually really interested in the lore behind it now. I'm like, oh, I kind of want to see that uh, mm-hmm. Free Star Collective. I want to get in with them because they seem like the hippies of the world. So I want to do quests with them. So, yeah, <laughs> there, like there's a rhythm to this game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they seem like space right. hippies. So Matt's yeah. got Birkenstocks and patchouli yeah. oil. What do you think of that main lady? What's her <laughs> um, name again? Sarah? What's her name? Do you, do you, are you a, Sarah like, Johnson. Are you romancing know, anybody? Is it? I just met that one lady at... <laughs> yeah. uh, and the creepy Barrett glass and... eyes, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. The, so the Matt, let me kids. ask you a question though. Um, what's the condition of this game versus like when it launched? Is it like noticeably different, better? Like they fixed it everything? Still looks a little it's assy. It, it still looks a little washed out and assy. But the and pacing I, or any of this stuff that no. people were complaining yeah. about, yeah, it's all no. I mean, no. There's still a lot of steps, like Michelle it. said, to get to where you want to go. But I can't tell you. I the graphically, obviously, it's better because it's working. Like when I was trying on my computer, it didn't work at all, basically. Yeah. Well, good. So, I'm glad you have that Xbox. Yeah. I think you will get a lot out of Starfield. Um, there's planets yeah. you go to where there's certain powers you can collect when you go to a certain planet that have like their secrets and things it. like that. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot to Barely learn. It. Last game I'm playing is uh, the second South Park because now I'm just back into those again, the fractured butthole. That was a really good game. Don't play the new one. I, I didn't like it. I forget what it was even no, called. No, I'm staying now. far away. Yeah. Yeah, the snowball fight one. Yeah, it was so It's bad. unfortunate. I would have taken a third South Park game. Use the same app. I don't care. Just make it like Halloween yep. themed or something. Because they do a fun job with these. And the Costume stuff quest. they... 
the stuff they do in this game, and I'm surprised isn't being dug up, is it, it's insane. Like the, the, you fight like an aborted Nazi fetus. At You're one gonna point. bitch about a South Park <laughs> game, though. Some of the epi- the episodes are that way, right? They can't. Oh, I know, but you know that humor. it's just funny that this game exists out yeah. there, and no one's like put a spotlight on it or made it yep. the center of some like stupid online war because yeah. of the stuff they well, do. Now they it's, like, will. There's the <laughs> N word and stuff. There'll be an AI yeah. article written about it. How it uh, supports the patriarchy after this. Something like that. Right. Anyways, I love that. And I'm drinking Coke Zero. Oh, right, wow. Two Coke Zeros This tonight. is wonderful. Oh, Coke friends. Um, so right, this oil rig thing is starting to make talk, sense. Uh, about Nintendo. Let's talk about the Nintendo Direct, John. Because you're um, the Nintendo guy. Matt, I want to know if you're interested at all. No Switch 2 news. Yeah. That's not well, going yeah, to yeah. well, New Year. Maybe, maybe. New Legend of Zelda. Mm-hmm. Well, which okay. is With up Zelda. My alley. That's my Zelda. Hashtag my Zelda. So it's a That's reskinned... The, Link to the Past. Uh, it looks like a Link or, to the Past kind of, right? Yeah. Like well, a, the hook, though, is you play as Zelda. But that's all people are talking about. No one's excited for the for the game. It, it's a, I think the game... Okay, so what... Our okay, listeners so they, are calling they, it a ROM dump. Okay, they did an announcement trailer for this game, and they, they really showed next to nothing. And then some Japanese guy talked in front of a green screen... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. About I am the producer. He's of like, Legend of Zelda. so okay. So I have to say that what they showed, like, like the scope of the land, it kind of reminded me of that Dragon Warrior like uh, build artwork style. I know it's uh, it's maybe, but you played like the Link to the Past. Or no, I did. The, I, I know. Yeah, one but, where he wakes up. But the, the way the world island. looked, it looked the like just the, it looked a lot bigger than that other. It was Link to the Past, right? That was the remake that they did with that engine. It looks like okay. It's like the same. Yeah, engine, I understand. Right? Yeah, yeah, but it's not linked to the past. What's the one where he what, wakes up yeah, in the island I'm with sorry. the egg? Um, and, um... It's Link. Oh my god! Link's awakening. Or, Link's awakening. Link's sorry. awakening. Yeah, okay. so that's right. That's looks what like I'm it's, it's reminiscent of, remake. And I actually of that. Actually, liked yeah. Link's awakening, but that game Me had frame too. rate problems back then, and people right, said so, the trailer was stuttering. But what? Let's talk about the important part of this game. Is that Link is in trouble, and you are now Zelda, who has to save him. So it's a role reversal and mm. and then in the in the announcement trailer the japanese guy in front of the screens he says well what will her weapon be will she have a sword and mm-hmm. then they're like and they're like no actually her weapon is interior decoration if you watch the- <laughs> yeah. so she so basically any item in the world be it a bed yeah. a dresser a, a, you can copy pasta them everywhere mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so like, if you encounter an end table, right, it, it goes into your inventory, and you can just summon end tables and use that to platform up to a ledge. Like, I kind of actually like that. <laughs> like, I do too. And but, my only, my only fear is, and someone explained it well. It, I want this to be a like handcrafted puzzle world Zelda, like the, like the old school ones. It's yeah. Not. But this ability seems like you're going to be able to cheese everything. It's going to be like a. Breath of the Wild. This looks like a game made for little girls. Maybe. I think that's the market for it. I mean, I I, really do. I I sent the link to my daughter and said, and Cheery saw it, but yeah, she's into it. Um, and she's been playing Zelda since she's been born. So now, and I think this looks lame. (laughs) I'd love to (laughs) see an actual Zelda game with a dungeon. I don't care if it's it's Link. I'm sure there's a dungeon. Well, that's what I'm saying. I what it depends on what kind of game this is. Yeah. Like if this is one of those like I can just build bridges out of tables and solve every problem game, I don't want it. If this is an old school Zelda where it's actually like these are actual puzzles that have one solution, it's it's a really complicated dungeon. That's what I want. I want the secrets. I want the items that uncover. I think it's all going to be there. I really do. I have faith it's going to be in there. And this I game's think coming it's uninspired. out. It's it's a reskin oh, version wow. of the same last engine. Game that, possibly same engi- it looks. Yeah, ju- Tears of the same Kingdom was style. just a reskin Breath of the right, Wild. Right, but how long can Nintendo keep, keep doing this? <laughs> Apparently well, forever. I was, okay, so the, I was surprised that this game's coming out in September. Like they, like well, because you know what it is. Dan was already in the engine. He had already just reskinned a, <laughs> Link's Awakening, and he's like, right. "Hey, I added hair to Link. Let's just let her build beds that, to go over a bridge. She can make blocks. She can decorate her home. Right. right this is girl power. This is great. Right. We're woke she now. Can a sandwich, she can, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. She's making a big sandwich exactly. tower that she can a right. sandwich a ladder. She already just frosted a cake in her last game. Now this bitch is back, and she's got a wand and making beds. Okay. So, but I mean, this gameplay is really exciting. That was you guys. Peach if this Michelle was an indie game on. 
whatever. I'm, it's a joke. <laughs> I'm interested not, in this. Yeah. I think it looks if cool. If this was a $4 and I, Steam I indie game, nobody would care. I think Nintendo is getting away too long, resting on nah. their laurels. They're in trouble in a decade. All right, fine. This I, I think this dead. is going to be a handheld Crafty says, while, this show is I'm dead. Warm. How can anyone like this? I mean, Crafty, <laughs> I'm on your side here. These two are nuts. I'm sure I'll get yelled at from the Nintendo fans. Don't what? you dare say anything about Zelda. But it this looks shit fun. looks terrible. This is a new Zelda no, game. Oh, it does. It looks it like does. a... It, it looks Matt, you don't even own a Switch, off the distance do you? At that castle. Do you own a Switch? Are you going to emulate Switch? this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to get this, Matt? I'm going to buy this. I'm going to support Nintendo. All right, I, don't I want look to forward to your guys' review when you see mm-hmm. that there's nothing to this game and it's seventy, it's in ninety dollars Canadian. <laughs> you go, yeah. all right. I'm not I, buying okay, this. I, I, I don't. John, I know you this. would love it. You're going to buy two copies. That's why you're here. We love it. John, I don't know if I'm going to love it, princess. but I'm definitely going to participate in it. Um, yeah. Okay, princess, and then they sh- and princess. then they showed Metroid Prime. And by the way, this was a banger of a, a direct. Don't um, say banger, please. You know how many people <laughs> have been saying banger to me since I bitched about it? Old school says it's a sprite swap. I agree. <laughs> it's a 3D game. There's no sprites. All right. So, it, and, then, and then the other game they show was Metroid Prime 4 Beyond, which is a brand new Metroid Prime game that's been rumored for like the past three mm-hmm. years or, or longer. Who knows? Um, now, this game is coming out in 2025. Is this a Switch 2 game? I don't know. It's maybe uh, both where they sell it twice. People are thinking, so you have to, so you can okay, buy it twice. But, yeah. Okay. I do like Metroid Prime quite a bit. I really like the original first one on the this GameCube. Looks cool, man. But I don't think think anything no. looked at eh, i just now this one didn't do graphically it looked, it looked pretty cool <sighs> is it I mean, scroller i i'm mean, no, just no, watching it's a, the trailer no, for the first no time. metroid prime is a first person shooter that's uh, that's the magic of it um i was I've not into this it, it kind of looked like a like a cheap halo i don't know hmm. well, this, i wasn't see, i think it. this looks better than the uh, zelda cool. game yeah all right and it, then it, so it, that game's coming out like gadgets to this i think it could be a pretty cool game well there's well there's scanning and stuff yeah, i've never played they're a still game designing before, so. and developing yeah. for this mobile device with this mobile chip right so you're saying it doesn't look really you know it looks like doom from 1997 yeah i i i, I love metroid prime don't get me wrong i just okay. didn't see anything new or interesting in the trailer that's all okay um what is this brothers john what is this yeah so movie? okay so mario and luigi uh, I think it was Superstars. I've played games in this series. It's like a yeah. okay. It's like an RPG kind of turn-based game. Yeah, I played this long. Brothership and, is this the name here? Yeah, but okay, okay. So I don't really like this series of games, <laughs> but okay. I have to say the art style is kind of they they're taking a chance here with this like cell shaded cartoony Disney look. Hmm. It's totally different. It really is. Um, this some is a of, good game for when you want to like collect a bunch of shit. Like I, I played one of these and yeah, some of it looked fun. good. Like some of the platforming they showed, and then the battles looked kind of. Uh, uh, my takeaway for this was the the art style was rather unique and bold, and they weren't just doing like another one of these games in like two D. Like it's a, right. it, it looked pretty good. Uh, this game's coming out in November, so I, is this their big holiday release? Maybe. Um, and then Donkey Kong Country Returns, which was a Wii game. <laughs> Uh, is getting an HD re-release in January. I, <sighs> you're gonna buy it, John. Even though, well, I'm gonna buy it because I do a podcast. But, but it's the same game with just more it's textures. The same How can fucking Nintendo game. do this? Like Phil would have given you this with a free <laughs> yeah. texture pack. Come on, Nintendo. Yeah. yeah, this is at least add something, do something different. Don't just. It doesn't even look that much well, better. And by the way, this is the third time they've released this game. Because it was on the Wii and yeah, the 3 Yeah, because people are like, yay, I'll give you $70 for this Nintendo. Lord, spread me. And they're like, we'll do it. Let's go. I mean, yeah. it's, you guys so got to stop this, at some point. They're not going to stop making them. This version is an HD remaster, and it includes oh all of the levels from the 3DS and the Wii. So it's a oh. whatever. Um, the Super Mario Party Jamboree, I didn't watch the trailer or even look that into this. Cool. I did. Be- because I'm yeah. kind of over this series. My kids are too I old anyway. I love this series. And they have five new boards. The boards look fun. There's like a mall in there. There's a couple old, two other old boards. And if I, it's like the last uh, Super Mario Party. There'll be a ton of side stuff too. Yeah. I, it, it looks cool. I like these games very much. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I played them a million times. They're always too long. Even if you do a short game, it's too long. 
<laughs> like it just it just doesn't doesn't fucking end. So those are kind of like the Nintendo games they announced, plus uh, the first party games, plus they announced like some games that are coming on the uh, Nintendo online service, like Turok Dinosaur Hunter, which I did really like back in the day on the N sixty four. Perfect Dark, uh, which is like the sequel to GoldenEye, um, which is Microsoft now owns, by the way. <laughs> so they also announced a bunch of other things because I'm seeing a lot of things coming to did. Steam today. Dragon Quest remake, um, HD 2D. Like now the big, released, the big thing they released, Steam that were not the big thing they released, but one of the controversial things they released or announced. Okay, was the Marvel versus Capcom fighting collection. Now, do you know why it's controversial? Why? Because it's coming out on everything but Xbox. Oh, there's not enough users there, so it's not worth the time. Everyone's probably. losing their mind, and it doesn't really make any sense to me. It's coming to the Switch, PS4, and the okay. PC. But what? Okay, so here's my question to you, John. A lot of times we see a lot of games come to Steam and PC. Yeah. I'm sorry, PC and Switch, and they skip yeah. them, and you never bitch about that. Or we'll <laughs> see. Like, why is that shocking to you? Because Xbox, to me. And okay, so to me, it's like Xbox and PlayStation to me is like Chevy and Ford. It's just a given that everything goes to. But those they have systems. no Xbox people in Japan, right? And they might be looking at that market as selling on PlayStation there. Possibly, Capcom's looking at it that way. Um, Capcom, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really surprised that there's not an Xbox port. It, it not makes a buy lot. It. <laughs> Nobody's going to buy it there, and they know it's not worth their time. I, I guess I think it's a it's, snub. I think they're just looking at it like that. Yeah, a lot of people were upset. I saw that a lot today. Of people, what three people oh. on Twitter? I was going to buy this. If you're like, yeah. love these types of games, you How probably don't dare have some, you. You have something other than an Xbox. Come on, you have a PlayStation <laughs> or a PC. If you're playing, Capcom I don't care. Games. It doesn't affect me in any way. I'm not buying lying. this anyway. They don't what? give a shit because they have a PlayStation and a PC. If they play Capcom games, there's no like person out there with only an Xbox that's like pissed off. I about only this have Marvel an Xbox system. and I love Capcom. What's happening here? Well, because Xbox <laughs> users don't buy games. <laughs> the they only play shit on Game Pass. I'm an Xbox user and I buy games. What's happening here xbox users are mad i'm mad i'm an xbox they're user they're like team dog or that guy that's what? so he swapped <laughs> these people what? they swapped from xbox and went to playstation because they put sea of thieves on playstation or something yeah like they're crazy oh they're crazy God. people <laughs> so you're excited though with overall with nintendo both of you guys like you're excited for the holiday i think i do think Not that as much as xbox but yes I, yeah I, I i do honestly think that there's there's not a single game on here that has me like jizzing. Um, I'm sorry, never do that again. <laughs> yeah, please but, don't say that. It makes me <laughs> uncomfortable. But the, makes very uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, actually, there is one thing on here that I do want, especially because okay. my vacation's coming. Or okay. will be coming. What is that? Remember last summer, I, I that Disney Illusion Island Metroidvania game that I played like crazy right. on the Cape you and finished. finished that, didn't you? I did. I finished on the Cape on a beach. <laughs> you always and, like games more when you're trapped somewhere, either on a plane or you're dead. Yeah, or, I, I do okay. like that. But they're yeah. releasing like a a, a a a DLC expansion for it. Oh, cool! But I wow. I don't have the fucking game anymore. Uh, I got rid of it. Fuck! Pick up I want eBay. the. I want the expansion because I want to we'll play it again. That's a good game, eh? You like that? Oh my god, this game's coming out literally the. Oh. I have to just do buy it. it digitally. Then you get. I it. have to do it. You got to do it, or just emulate it on your Steam Deck. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a lot of stuff, though. They they did t- announce. Uh, so what are we thinking here with Switch Two? Because that's like all I'm curious about. They can't talk about yeah. it all before the holiday, right? Because they want to sell Switches for the no. holiday, so they can't yeah. even talk about it till the new year. So officially, because people have asked us, what's the Switch Two news? None, because if they say something about it, nobody will buy a Switch for Christmas for their kids or for themselves. Of course. Yeah. So it's just kind of the way it is with the timing, but. I was hoping for a tease, honestly. Yeah, I don't think they're going to tease anything. They can't risk having a bad holiday, right? They could have shown, yeah, even if they showed a picture, people would be like, well, not buying. Yeah, I guess they couldn't. All right, so there, there, there's other stuff they announced. There's a Nintendo Switch Sports update that's adding basketball. I know that's that, that a, a lot of people are going to maybe end it. You know, mm-hmm. I saw something recently. I don't know what it was, some video. Oh, it was Linus actually. Linus Tech Tips. They were looking at weird <laughs> peripherals. Yeah, and, uh, you're, you're, yeah. You're, yeah, and one yeah. of them okay. was a bowling ball controller for Wii Sports. That's funny. And, oh. and they were playing it, and I'm like, that actually was fun. That stupid bowling game for a hot minute. You know, my mom was into it. Okay. 
I know my mom too. My like everyone. A lot of senior citizens have. Yeah, have, yeah. The se- like, remember legit. those old commercials where there were like seniors yes. dancing? <laughs> yeah, that was like their market for a bit. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I guess it's still a thing. They're adding basketball to it. Um, uh, there's some Among Us thing they're doing. Oh, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. That's coming out soon. I, ah, fuck. All right. Anything else? Because I wanted to bring up some other Stray things. Stray is coming to Nintendo. Okay. I could see that. Yeah, so they can be bored on the Switch, too. <laughs> All right, what else, Michelle? Well, of course, next week we are going to talk about Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree with our Elden Ring guy. But, like, already people are saying it's this year. The expansion, the DLC, is this year's highest rated game on Metacritic. People are loving this. It is a massive DLC, like, bigger or as big as Elden Ring itself. Um, A lot of people are excited. We just added an Elden Ring category in our discord if you need help or if you have questions there's people in there playing and talking about it, trying to do everything they have to do before the expansion comes out um so next week we will be talking about probably if people are going to want this to be on our discord awards for game of the year but we can't allow that because cyberpunk phantom liberty wasn't allowed to be game of the year but there's a lot right. of positive stuff a 10 of 10 from ign i watched a little fight in cowboys video he's like this game is like returning to a lo- a long lost love it's familiar it's so good to be back and it's like outstanding so I play this game again i think you should matt i really do i mean is it calling? even i'm is like it do i go- to try it I think yeah. I'm, I think you got it. It's another. It's gonna be another thing like Starfield. Like you've got to give this a try. Like if you're playing Starfield, you've got to play Elden Ring. Like so. I because I, I did the requirements. I beat both those guys that you have to beat. If you've already beaten them, Mog I think you should look uh, into it. So the game we're talking about, Jobber, you just coming back is Elden Ring: Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. So. You know, a lot of people haven't even killed the boss. That's been the hype around like 90% of the people who play haven't killed the boss. You need to. So I like, Matt, like if, that though. Yeah, like that that's cool. Level entry. Exactly. That's or if just. Yeah. yeah. So, but you, if you've already done it, that's like a no brainer. I mean, the world looks insane. Like the verticality that they've added to it. Like I oh, watched I like this that. guy go down like this to this deep, hey. like it looked crazy. I don't know. So <laughs> right. we'll be talking about it next week. Uh, we'll have a homeless zombie shout out on next week. And he's a big Elden Ring guy. What, John? I, nothing. I just, oh, you, said, you, you were going, Hey, verticality. Hey. You like that? Yeah, no, you said you saw this guy go down, and then you paused. All right. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, well, Paradox cancels the life sim Life by You, which was being hyped up for years as the replacement so for Sims up. and Second Life. Yeah. I kind of wanted to play it. So it was like it right about to like come into early access. Yeah, it was, Matt. And that's the, the thing. Like. Time. Don't get excited about trailers, even if it's been three years. Yeah. Like, that's what's concerning no me about demos. some games. Like, when you don't hear about the yeah. gameplay or what's really going on, no demos, nothing. It was just about to come into early access or alpha, and then they cancel it. Like, it probably didn't have much going on. They were vaporware. It's so weird to me. So th- this is a trend, though, where games just, like, suicide themselves. Well, Instead of trying to just get a following and just put it the out. The CEO said they gave it a fair shot, but believe it's now better to stop. <laughs> that was a bad game. So let's just kick out of their that. parents' house. <laughs> well, a few you, weeks back, we decided to hold off on an early access release in order to reevaluate life by you. But if it was that close to being done, wouldn't you just put out free to play or something or try? That's yeah. weird. That's yeah. what I'm. That's what I'm. That's the question I'm asking. Yeah. Is it? Is it because of the blowback on everything now? Is that why we they can't even? They don't even want to. Like take the chance. They were in the spotlight, and they would get ripped to shreds if it was a bad game. There were a lot of people right. looking forward like, to this. I think there was a lot of buzz around it as like the Sims Second Life replacement. So they had a lot of pressure, and they just probably felt like this is trash. Like, w- and a lot of times developers feel that they're like, this isn't good. It's not ready, and it gets pushed out anyway. So this is probably yeah. a good. Uh, it's just it's sad that it doesn't. But wouldn't you all, rather you know? just? I'd rather say, look, did. it's now like, a free to play. You know. Yeah sandbox exactly. have fun you know we're sorry it wasn't what to be we're calling off like, but here just here's something here's what it is it's not finished yeah. but try it if you like something so, else, that's what i'm that's what i'm getting at but then people do he, that in early access and charge for it and people yell at them so because one know. of the studio guys right. said hey you know a time extension was an option but once we took that pause to get a wider view it became yeah, clear to, to us that the road they came back to like that's a really <laughs> shitty idea joe and he's like yeah it is what the fuck was don yeah. thinking and then they just like trashed it yeah I think, don listen yeah. donnie no donnie, let's talk yeah <laughs> what did you do i got here? a job because your father used to work <laughs> yeah. here donnie but yeah. donnie, we can't keep yeah <laughs> listen i know your dad founded this company yeah. but uh 
You we really think you people on. are going to do this? Talk Definitely. to somebody at a gym this... for three hours? That's the whole game. <laughs> Don. This is, people can do that in real life. Come, Come on, on Donnie. Don. Come on. Don was like, I don't right. know. I was thinking I was on a Coke pie, you know? no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Look. They went and got coffee. They came back and said the game sucks ass and canceled it. Kiwi says, yeah, yeah. I think that's true. Yeah. I think that's what happened. So sorry. RIP life by you. Now, um, this is uh, Xbox chief marketing officer, Jarrett West, who we've talked about a lot Jarrett. on this podcast. Have we? Uh, I thought that was going to go bad. Yeah. yeah huh. He's leaving to go to Roblox. Wow. There's money in those Roblox. Seriously. Did yeah, your kids play that? Is that like a... My kids are too old for Oh, that. they play it they every night, that. dude. Like, oh, multiplayer. Really? Yeah. But the economy is that the kids make the games mm-hmm. and charge other kids to play their games, and Roblox takes the a... Robux kids. Takes a, I heard it's like a creep Robux fest a there. You gotta exactly. be careful with your kids there. <laughs> the well, kids yeah. in well, air quotes. Well, that's the other issue as well. That's yeah. why we're like, do not Daddy, chat. Daddy, look you at this German <laughs> dungeon level that Mort made from Iowa. <laughs> He's a 12-year-old like yeah. me. This guy in Boise asked at the for motel photos. this weekend. Daddy, what does BDSM yeah. mean? That's what Jared said. Please, kids these days are teaching their parents what shit means. Uh, let's talk about this. So the former PlayStation boss. Now you remember he got a little salty with Phil last week, John Sean Layden. Okay, yeah. this week he's saying that game companies have got to just have some patience. You don't just shut the companies down. He's saying like some oh people are God. doing. He said you got to have patience. You got to give them time right. to grow. All right. And he said that you should have known better that we were in a temporary bubble during COVID that you were not going mm. to see 20 percent gaming growth. OK, and he's really taken issue with taking more this shots at Microsoft bullshit. this week. I, I, I take most exception with the Redfall shit and the people mm-hmm. that white knighted those guys. Yeah, because that was so stupid. all <laughs> those same people fucking destroyed that game on release. They, right? Did they though? Did yes, they, they say, yes. did. Yes. Did they say, "Oh, Redfall was such a good game or had potential"? No, he's I saying feel like the most opposite. Just... He's saying they said it was shit. So why are you crying when the studio got shut down? Exactly. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. But no one was like pretending that it was a good game when Arcane got shut down, right? No one was saying like, "Oh, yes, like, so Red... how yes, dare they you? Were saying, These people need oh, to but eat." They, well, they made, made DLC, yeah. and, and they were working. You know, yeah, we the never got to see it. Were like, Before yeah. closing your doors, they released this final goodbye. They're not going to die. Die from terminal cancer. These people sucked at their job and got fired. Nobody okay, cries okay. when a guy who works right, so, on the oil right. rig can't Just, get the oil in the hole. And let they me give you an example. Out. Yeah, yeah. Right, IGN mm-hmm. reviewed. Uh, um, oh my god, Redfall. Sorry. Red, sorry. Yeah, they they gave Redfall a four out of ten. Yes. Okay, that's not a good review. That's not helping anybody, especially the studio. And then they released an article last month. Microsoft destroyed Arcane Austin, but the studio's soul is indestructible. Oh, shut <laughs> up. The soul was already destroyed. Everybody like, good left. What? It was a empty... This is a heartbreaking situation. Oh, no. You motherfuckers dis- dissed the living shit out of this As game. They and made nobody... The game was trash. Yeah. And the thing Let's is, be real. IGN, guess what? When you give it a 4 and a 10, you know what that does to the studio? It prevents them from making any fucking money because you shit all over it. Okay? Yeah. It okay. gets into their sales. And now you're sitting here going, this is heartbreaking. How could they close the studio? That's what like, they do. So they our rage, what? Our rage bait <laughs> articles cause studio closure. <laughs> yeah. oh, like what? Yeah. Like what yeah. the actual fuck? <laughs> Well, look, I'm here to say the game was shit, and I'm glad the studio got shut down. Anyway, that's it for us yeah. this week. Come down to videogameoutsiders.com. Remember, go premium for $1.99. We do weekly bonus shows, including this week of Cooking Outsiders. We do micro VGO, PC Outsiders, fun stuff up on our app on videogameoutsiders.com. Also listed on the web at I love VGO.com if you hate apps. And there's free stuff on our app, too, from Kevin, the Game Store Guy, and the community. Shout out Crafty and Happy Hour. Thank you again for that Xbox. It's going to be a fun time doing roundtables with Matt. We look forward to a future with Game Pass by the way, shout out Microsoft for sending us some codes. Now, John. Yes. What else do we have to do before we get out of here? I guess have fun. Play Elden Ring DLC. We'll see you next week. And it's going to be That's a good right. show. Anything else? Nope. We'll see All you right, guys this. very soon. <laughs> I just didn't know you <laughs> No. Game <laughs> Outsiders. Okay, good. Out. out. I got the seals. You know what?